This is the new Aston Martin Vantage, the most driver-focused and fastest in the famous brand's 74-year history. At least, this is what the British themselves are trying to convince us. At first glance, it becomes clear that the new generation may not be perceived by everyone as a full-fledged body change. To its credit though, the coupe is 30mm wider and has a more muscular stance and a completely redesigned front end with a 38% larger and recontoured grille. It provides a 29% increase in airflow for additional engine compartment cooling. Frankly, I haven't accused Aston Martin in the house yet, but apparently I'll have to. Additional cooling air intakes installed in the bumper on either side of the radiator grille emphasize the aggressiveness of the new product, while a new integrated split with a wider and lower stance adds weight to the car and also performs an aerodynamic function, providing stability at high speed by reducing lift. The front end is complemented by a completely new matrix LED headlight design with a new integrated echo light. The standard 21-inch alloy wheels fit perfectly into the wide wheel arches. Of course, the coupe has frameless door mirrors and new door handles, while a wider rear bumper with side vents and four large diameter tailpipes ensures that the Bentley looks as aggressive as it does from the front. As with all Aston Martin models, customers can benefit from personalization of their car through the virtually limitless Aston Martin program. The Vantage is at its core a hardcore sports car, but that doesn't mean it makes sacrifices. When it comes to comfort or level of equipment, the new product is fine with this. The new generation is ready to delight you with an all-new, ultra-luxurious interior with impeccable architectural lines and a surround sound system designed by Bauer & Wilkin. A 390-watt audio system with 11 speakers comes standard. This system is designed with cutting-edge hardware and features a surround sound mode with quantum technology. But true audiophiles will be delighted with the optional Bauer and Wilkins system powered by Intel speakers. The company's second model, equipped with a new generation infotainment system created in-house and first introduced on the 12. The fully integrated multiple system with full internet connectivity is equipped with a 10-inch touchscreen. It's located on the new angled console just above the new joystick. The gearbox is strewn around with mechanical buttons, for which special thanks to the British. This whole increase in porridge is completed by a new steering wheel and a sports seat with developed lateral support. In general, everything is like everyone else. What's new under the hood? There is a heavily redesigned and hand-assembled 4-liter twin turbo engine with a peak output of 665 forces and a colossal torque of 800 Newton meters. This is 155 horsepower and 115 Newton meters more than before. These higher figures were achieved thanks to extensive tuning by the engine engineers. Starting with modified cam profiles, optimized compression ratios by increasing turbocharging and ending with an improved cooling system paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission. That's enough to propel the two-seater sports car to a top speed of 200 miles per hour and accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 3.4 seconds. For greater pleasure, the final drive ratio was shortened and the gearbox itself was calibrated. The increase in engine performance led to an increase in thermal load, which required a complete overhaul of the engine cooling system. To ensure stable intake air temperatures in all water circuit, cool or pressurized conditions, an additional low temperature radiator was installed and two more auxiliary cool radiators were added to the existing central main radiator. Everything to prevent your engine from overheating. But as they say, not with just one motor, lives. This supercar is built around an aluminum structure with an ideal weight distribution along the axles of 50 to 50. It is ready to offer an improved body structure with additional components to improve underbody rigidity and crash resistance. This is a redesigned front wishbone that has been moved rearward to increase the stiffness of the front double wishbone suspension mounting point. Further improvements were achieved by installing a stiffer but lighter front engine crossbar to improve rigidity and lateral rigidity between the front suspension mounts at the rear. Benefits from a 29% increase in cornering stiffness due to increased lateral reinforcement between the rear suspension struts in combination with an electronic differential and electronic stability control. The propeller is able to adapt to both mountain, serpentine roads, and wide racetracks at the touch of a button and the turn of a switch. Special attention was paid to the electronic power steering system. Installing a non-isolated steering column means that steering is direct and straightforward. The steering column has a constant 12 and 8, one ratio with adjustable speed sensitivity. Steering and grip responses have been further enhanced by Michelin rubber. They feature a bespoke rubber compound and have been tuned by Aston Martin themselves. The standard equipment includes cast iron 400mm front brake discs and 360mm rear discs with different surfaces. 
To improve heat dissipation and power resistance, carbon ceramic brakes can be installed as an option on runways for enhanced braking performance and reduced brake fade at temperatures up to 800 degrees Celsius. Installing these brakes saves 27 kilograms of wasted weight compared to a cast iron brake system, which in turn improves ride quality and handling. But the company cites an advanced vehicle dynamics control system as the main key to excellent handling. It receives information from several sensors of the car and the driver himself, such as a six-axis accelerometer, transmission, brake system, and electronic differential, to create a detailed picture of exactly what is happening with the vehicle and apply it to overall system management. And judging by the above information, Aston Martin managed to build a truly interesting and beautiful car that can compete with Ferrari and Lamborghini. Well friends, that's all I have for today. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos. Good luck to everyone and see you soon.